Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My name is Stan Simons, and I am presently the chairman of the Traverse City Coast Guard City Committee. Thank you for attending this dedication ceremony for the official unveiling of Guardian, a tribute to the men and women of the United States Coast Guard and a celebration of the designation of Traverse City as an official Coast Guard City. At this time, I would invite the Coast Guard to present the nation's flag. Gentlemen, please remove your hats. Remain silent for the singing of the national anthem. I would like to introduce Madison Hodges, who will lead the national anthem. Thank you, Madison. On November 13, 1998, a law was enacted by the United States Congress that allowed the city of Grand Haven, Michigan to be called Coast Guard City, USA. That law also provided for other cities to be similarly distinguished. In accordance with that provision, on April 7, 2010, Traverse City, Michigan became the 10th city to receive the tribute and was proclaimed a Coast Guard city. Traverse City's designation was based on their 60 plus year long history of extraordinary support for Coast Guard personnel assigned to the Traverse City area. We are not just a city with a Coast Guard station, but a city that embraces our Coast Guard family. Within 18 months, the City Commission of Traverse City established and appointed the Traverse City United States Coast Guard City Committee. It gives me a great deal of pleasure to introduce the current members of that committee. Steve Perdue, our Vice Chairman, Dave Barr, Dan Baker, Tom Allard, and Polly Watson Cairns. Also serving as permanent members of the committee are City Manager Marty Colburn, and Coast Guard Commander Nathan Coulter. Our committee is blessed with the services of Keith Seitz, Deputy City Clerk, as our recording secretary. The committee has accomplished many of its goals, but the idea of placing a public monument as a tribute to the men and women of the United States Coast Guard became a driving force. The committee conducted a contest for a design, and the winner was Mallory Hyges, a student at Traverse City West High School. Unfortunately, Mallory cannot join us today. She was assisted in the final design by sculptor Bob Purvis of Sutton's Bay, Devin DePaw of Northwestern Michigan College, and the Traverse City Arts Commission. We thank them all for their contributions to this project. Site designs for the project were provided by Nate Elkins of Influence Design Forum, and now director of the City Arts Commission. 
Having proceeded through a rigorous process of approvals from City Parks and Recreation, the Arts Commission and the City Commission, the Coast Guard City set about to bring the project to fruition. We want to express our sincere thanks to all of them for guiding us to the successful completion of this project. We are most thankful for the Biedemann Foundation, Ross is with us today, for providing the funds to initiate the project and to the Home Depot Foundation for grant funds and labor to finish the landscape you see before you. My right hand man at our Home Depot store, Jason Miller, thank you for joining us. Many other donors made significant contributions of money and in-kind donations to the project. Many are here today and we would like to acknowledge Molson Excavating, Rotary, Good Works, Traverse City Elks Lodge 323, the Coast Guard Aviation Association, the National Cherry Festival, the Grand Traverse Area Veterans Coalition, Traverse City Light and Power, Ferguson Enterprises, Ed Drapo, Brent Allen, Bay Masonry, Peninsula Pavers, Zimmerman Landscaping, and countless volunteers who freely gave their time and talents. Suitable plaques will be placed at the base of the sculpture to acknowledge their contributions. Last but not least, I want to recognize PIW Corporation of Gaylord, Michigan for constructing the sculpture. Their skill and manufacturing excellence has produced the impressive piece of art you see displayed on the pedestal behind me. They also provided the letters on the rear wall. The sculpture and the letters are all solid stainless steel and will ensure that this tribute endures for years to come. Thank you, PIW, and their staff for such a fine piece of workmanship. The Coast Guard City Committee was asked to consider naming the sculpture, and the final decision was reached, Guardian, which is appropriately named for the men and women of the Coast Guard who are the guardians of our Great Lakes. The men and women of Coast Guard Air Station Traverse City are largely represented here today, and it would be appropriate to show them our gratitude. Please give them a round of applause. I would now like to invite the Commander of Air Station Traverse City, Nathan Coulter, for remarks. Thank you very much, Stan. Well, it's certainly an honor to be here, and I'm thrilled to be here with uh, some of my closest friends and colleagues from the Air Station. We have about 110 men and women that come from all over the country, join the Coast Guard, and this ends up being probably one of the highlights of their career. They're experts at what they do, their skill and attention to detail, so that we can confidently put helicopters in the air to go out search and rescue those in peril on the sea, provide for your security or give hope to families. I'm very proud of them. A round of applause again for the men and women of Air Station Traverse City. So this project's been years in the making and as a new arrival last year, I can say that uh, I had very little to do with most of the work that went into it, but I can provide testament to the fact that we're all here because of a tremendous amount of grit and determination on the part of many active duty as well as current and former Coast Guard City Committee members and other members of the community. It's been very inspiring to witness. The designers, fabricators, all of the generous donors, the Parks and Rec Department, the Arts Commission, the amazing men and women of the air station. Uh, it's been truly inspirational. So on behalf of the current crew here that you see before you, as well as the former crew members, I need to say a huge thank you to the, to the community of Traverse City and the greater area for welcoming, welcoming us and our families into your community. And it's hard to say some of this without sounding like I'm over embellishing for the sake of the occasion, but uh, this is truly a unique duty station, a one-of-a-kind 
in our service and a billet to be cherished. So we've got the, the lakes, we've got the skiing, we've got tremendous recreational opportunities, phenomenal food and drink, phenomenal schools, civic programs, but really that's not what makes it so special for us. Those are all elements, but the real essence of the Je ne sais quoi here of Traverse City is the community spirit, the pride, the patriotism, philanthropy, the work ethic, which I assume was probably born out of being an agricultural economy, a culture of self-sufficiency and innovation, and regular displays of Americana that have pretty much gone by the wayside in many parts of our country. All of those elements created indefinable pull for many Coast Guard members and their families who really maybe have no knowledge about the Great Lakes or Northern Michigan, but for some reason, it pulls them to write Traverse City at the top of their dream sheet when it comes around to assignment season. And then for the lucky few, it ends up keeping them here after retirement. So thank you to everyone who's made this beautiful sculpture reality. Thank you to the community for supporting us, as well as all of the crews that came before us, whose shoulders we stand on. Thank you for welcoming us into your churches, your parent-teacher organizations, other community organizations. Thank you for letting our spouses work in your workplaces. Thank you for supporting our children through the schools and the community activities. You should all know that your support is a crucial part of attracting the absolute best the Coast Guard in the country has to offer. And it directly enables those of us who jump into the helicopters on the worst of the worst nights to go out there safely and save lives and protect our region. Thank you again. And as a career Coast Guardsman, I'd be a little bit remiss to say, if I didn't say, wear a life jacket. You probably heard this, dress for the water temperature, not the air temperature, and be safe out there. Thank you. Thank you, Commander. At this time, I would like to invite our Mayor, Jim Carruthers, to join us, as well as Arts Commission Director, Nate Elkins. On behalf of the Carver City Coast Guard City Committee, we would like to present Guardian to the City of Traverse City and the Arts Commission, not only as the, to the fact that we are designated an official Coast Guard City, but it's a fine piece of artwork as well. Mayor. Thank you, Stan. Thank you, Coast Guard Committee, for all the hard work that you've done to make this a reality. Thank you to all the other boards and commissions and the commissioners that are here today who have made this happen. And first and foremost, thank you to all of you for being here in Traverse City. We are a proud Coast Guard city here in Traverse City. Thank you for your service. This is the, the smallest thing we can do to commemorate your service, people's services in the past, and those in the future. And what a fine day and what a fine monument that we have here today to celebrate this. Um, we're lucky in Traverse City to have all this wonderful water, and we're lucky to have you all out there to protect us while we play on it. You heard the commander say, we need to be careful out there. Wear your life jackets. That's important. So um, this is a real special time for us, so I really appreciate um, everyone's involvement. And I just want to uh, deviate a little bit. I wanted to um, commemorate someone who passed away last week, um, Craig Dillaway. He was a 25-year veteran of the Coast Guard. He's my neighbor and my friend and friends of many people in your service as well as in this city. He had stations in California, Michigan, Hawaii, Washington, Puerto Rico, and Missouri, and he made Traverse City his home when he was done. And so we're looking forward to all of you being in Traverse City when you're finished with your tours. So we know you all love to be here, and we welcome you, and thank you for doing the work you do, and please come back. So thank you, everybody, who made this happen. Thank you, Nate, for really helping pull this together. And I know that we've got Amy Shamro from the City Commission here, um, um, Tim Warner, 
um, is from the City Commission here. I see some other folks from boards and commissions here too. So the city's very proud at this time to accept this. And what a great spot for it, right at the gateway to downtown and right on the bay. So thank you everybody and thank you staff and, and volunteers for making this happen. Thank you, Mayor. You are all encouraged to remain following the ceremonies to inspect the sculpture. And we have a couple of specially prepared cakes. So if you've got a sweet tooth, you'll find that right over there in the shade under the table. So please stick around afterwards. Thank you again for participating in this very important city. It's a milestone event. We're very proud of it. Thank you. I I would now ask Commander Coulter, Coulter, cutting out, sorry, Commander Coulter to dismiss his troops. Station, Atan Hood. Color Guard, present the colors. And if everybody could. Thank you. XO, you may dismiss the troops. There will be a flyby with a helicopter from Air Station Detroit and Air Station Traverse City. And I encourage you when they fly by, please wave. They can certainly see you. Thank you.